I love taking long walks through the forest. A good joke. Romantic candlelight dinners. I'm 41, never been married. Like a lady who wants me but isn't afraid to be without me for a while. Wait a minute. Ah, it's the wrong video. Wrong video, wrong video. Hold on. I love taking long walks through the forest, taking in the beauty of it all with my intelligently designed eyes. Now I have many friends who are atheists, evolutionists, and skeptics. I don't mind an honest evolutionist and an honest skeptic. I'm a skeptic. But to the militant anti-creationists, the ones who make silly, silly arguments, and in a desperate attempt to do away with God, that really get on my nerves sometimes. Such was the case with one of my atheist friends who was talking to another atheist friend, and he said that we creationists think the human eye was intelligently designed. He mockingly replied with, what, do they think the snowflake was designed too? I, 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 I. Let's examine this critique, shall we? This is the Sony High Definition HVR Z1U video camera. It was intelligently designed. It can resolve millions of colors. This is the human eye. It was also intelligently designed and can resolve millions of colors. Snowflake. The Z1U has 1.07 million pixels of resolution. The human eye operates at over 500 million pixels of resolution. Snowflake. The Z1U has a contrast ratio of about 70 to 1. The human eye approximately 1 million to 1 or higher, nobody really knows. Uh, snowflake. The Z1U needs a minimum light level of 3 lux. The human eye can see in 0.001 lux and can spot a burning candle 22 kilometers away. You can see a snowflake in light levels of 0.001 lux. The Z1U can record up to 60 minutes of video on one tape. The human brain captures the vision of your eye and can essentially store a lifetime worth of video. You can remember snowflakes you saw when you were a child. The Z1U measures 36 centimeters long, 17 centimeters high, 15 centimeters wide, and weighs about 2 kilograms. The human eye is about 2.5 centimeters in diameter and weighs about 28 grams. A whole bunch of snowflakes! The Z1U requires about 8 watts of power to operate. The human eye has the highest energy consumption per gram of tissue in the entire human body and yet still consumes a measly 1 watt. Now, if something breaks on the Z1U, you gotta send it back to Sony, where a very intelligent designer will repair it for you at a very intelligent designer price. The human eye, however, fixes itself, replacing millions of cells every day for the length of your lifetime. Ah. Uh... Now look, I'm trying real hard to be respectful. But when you have a guy standing there mocking me and trying to make me look like a fool with comments that have an intellectual quotient that contains a negative integer, well, let's just say that in the end, I'm not the one who's looking like a fool. I'm also trying to be fair to the skeptics and not lump them all into one group based on one person. But on the other hand, when you take a look around the internet at the comments that are made regarding my videos, you very quickly see that most of the critical arguments are actually on par with the intelligence of this one atheist argument. Then there's those who, in spite of the very clear explanations that I made in rant number 67, still continue to parrot the false claim that the human eye is poorly designed. Uh, watch rant number 67 again, guys. Apparently you missed the point. In fact, they criticized me, saying that I didn't respond to the atheist claim that the human eye was poorly designed. The reason I didn't answer is because I tried to keep these rants short, it was already answered, and I could spend a lifetime responding to the pathetic arguments of the anti-creationists who say things like the human eye is poorly designed. Wait a minute! Just because you are ignorant and you don't know why the human eye was designed the way it was, does not make it a poor design! In fact, for those of you who still think that the human eye is poorly designed, please do us all a favor. Redesign the human eye. Build us a fully functioning prototype, transplanted in a willing host human who doesn't mind having a re-engineered eye transplanted into their body. We excitedly await your prototype. Oh, and did you notice that if you happen to redesign the eye into a better form, you'll prove my point by showing that it takes incredible intelligence to design an eye?
The human eye was designed the way it was for a reason. Just check out these websites and read it for yourself. It's very logical. It is ignorant and arrogant to say that the human eye is poorly designed. That's like a five-year-old telling the space shuttle design team that the shuttle is poorly designed. You know what I'd say if I was on that team? I'd say, hey kid, have at her. There you go, let's see your new and improved design. Heck, we'll even let you test fly it, see how your new and improved design fares out. The Bible says that God abases the proud and gives grace to the humble. Come on, guys. Humble yourselves just a little bit. It'll only hurt a little bit for a little while. And admit, the human eye is designed. But if the human eye is designed, then that implies a designer. Which should lead to the question, who is that designer? I know who he is. I know him personally. How about you?